Freightliner owners and drivers, if you are getting a warning that says park brake air low, brakes may drag, and your pressure is well above 75 PSI and no leaks, the repair is probably very simple. In most cases, it is this simple $50 switch. The switch is called a brake drag warning pressure switch. Part number for the switch is 12 dash 26771 dash 000. My parts guy knows it as the blue stripe switch because he sells so many of them. To access the switch, you're going to need to remove the trim panels, all three of them, below the steering wheel. You're going to need a cordless drill or a nut driver and a T25 Torx bit. Be sure to remove all of the torque screws before attempting to remove the panels. And uh, you want to use caution whenever you're removing the trim panels because they have little clips and uh, tabs holding them in. And you want to be very careful pulling them out as they will break fairly easily. The trim panel on the left does not have to be removed, but do remove the screws as it makes removal of the larger center panel easier. As you can see, my wife has all of the trim panels removed, allowing easy access to the brake drag warning switch. Don't forget, it's the one with the blue stripe. The next step is to disconnect the two pin connector. Be careful not to cut yourself, the plastic is sharp. And be careful of the air lines underneath because they uh, tend to leak if you're not careful with them. There are a lot of air lines under there. Next we will remove the switch. It is a inch and a sixteenth wrench that you will need. We had a very long wrench that would not work. I recommend an offset wrench or maybe a crow's foot. However, the switch is not in there tight, so I put the channel locks on there, gave it a real easy turn, and it turned without a problem, so I took it loose with the channel locks. I don't recommend taking things loose with channel locks, but it's what we had, so it's what we used. If it would have been tight, I would have went and found a different wrench for it. Now it's time to install the new switch, which is basically the reverse order of everything we just did, obviously. You want to be very careful as to not cross-thread it while you are screwing it back in. If it gives you any kind of resistance at all, you probably do not have it straight. You want to be very careful here since you can't really see it. Once you get it uh, threaded in fairly decent, get it about finger tight. And after you have it finger tight, you can tighten it with your wrench. Be careful not to tighten it too much. You just want it to be a little snug. You're basically going into brass there, so it's got Loctite or thread sealant on it. So all you need to do is get it a little bit snug, make sure it doesn't leak, and then verify your repair. To verify the repair, you'll simply start the truck up and let the air pressure start building back up and you will be looking for the warning to cut off somewhere around the 75 psi mark we reached 75 psi and the warning has went away on our truck the warning was staying on above 100 psi i have seen instances where the warning just goes constantly. I watched the switches, I watched the warnings very closely so I noticed right away that something was going wrong and with these switches what you'll start to see is them gradually start sticking and going bad. So as soon as you see the pressure start going above 75 and you're getting that warning it's time to replace that switch. Reassembling the trim panels you just want to be careful to get them positioned properly in place I like to hand start all the screws, that way I know I am not cross-threading them in any way. 
Uh, probably best to hand tighten them. For me, I use my cordless drill, but I have it set on one where it doesn't tighten very tight. Zip them all in there, go back, look it over, make sure everything's good, and you're done. As you can see, this was a fairly simple repair. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. And as always, please subscribe so you get access to future content. Thanks for watching.